Next to the astonishing admission by a senior politician that he knew the late Cyril Smith had abused young boys and did nothing about it. The revelation was made by Lord David Steele, the former leader of the Liberal, Dem Liberal Party, to the independent inquiry into child abuse. Yeah, a lawyer for some of Cyril Smith's victims says he's appalled Lord Steele didn't report him to the police. Now the Liberal Democrats say they are investigating the claims. Our correspondent Matt O'Donoghue has more details. Is it time to suspend David Steele from your party? Nothing to say. On the spot and on the back foot. It looks like that your predecessor has, has covered up abuse, Mr Cable. No comment. That abuse, according to the victims, was carried out by Cyril Smith. We Liberals find it very difficult to understand. And disclosed to Smith's then party leader, David Steele. I think about it every day. You know, something will pop in my head and, you know, I'll, it'll make me shake. Bloody will be when I finish. The abuse that left Michael with a lifetime of nightmares is now being investigated by the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse. That abuse took place here at Norview Residential Unit in Rochdale in the late 60s and 70s. It was carried out by the town's untouchable politician, Cyril Smith. We need honesty in politics today, straight talking, a bit more of a Christian-like attitude and less of the slanging. David Steele admits that Smith confessed to him in 1979. So you, so you understood that he'd actually committed these offences from what he said to you? I assumed that. Right. Wasn't that all the more reason to take matters further and hold some form of inquiry? No, because it was, as I say, before he was an MP, before he was even a member of my party, it had nothing to do with me. Eight years after this sickening disclosure, and Lord Steele recommended Cyril Smith for a knighthood. Four decades on from that confession, and Smith's history has caught up with David Steele, now we know others in power failed to share Smith's dirty secrets. We know that Cyril Smith went on to abuse boys in the 1980s, including at a care home in Rochdale, so it's very clear that Lord Steele's inaction uh, at that time in 1979 had direct consequences for boys who were abused subsequently. Tonight, as his party launches an inquiry into their former leader's behaviour, the alleged victims of Cyril Smith are calling for Lord Steele to be stripped of his peerage. Matt O'Donoghue, ITV News.